Our first guest tonight is a very talented actress who right now is nominated for what they call an Oscar for her portrayal of the late Princess Diana in the movie Spencer. Spencer is on Hulu now. Please welcome Kristen Stewart. <laughs> that very same thing tonight. I'm glad we... I was just thinking about how to joke with you about that. And so many, I was like, don't try it. It won't land. And I was like, where's your blue jump? You did it for me. Will you leave that for me and I'll try it on and I'll send you a picture of it. You've got it. Uh, congratulations, by the way, on the Oscar nomination. That's a big deal. It's a... I think it's interesting because I think like, you know, you see, you know, you're a famous person and we go like, yeah, she's nominated for an Oscar. But, you know, you're, you're a kid and thought about acting and then started acting and dreamed probably of this and now here we are and it's happening. I know, I, I'm hooked up to a matrix simulation so I'm making, I'm making this all up and I'm such a true visionary. I just really- you, <laughs> <laughs> you willed it the way Oprah tells us to do that. Are your parents super excited about this? Yeah, yeah, my dad, um, my dad had a really normal reaction. He was just like, oh, so proud of you, honey. Of course, the boo, my kid, which is ridiculous. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, dad, you take all the credit for this. You deserve it, honey. And then my mom was like, um, it was very early in the morning. I hit her up. She was really the one that like kickstarted this for me. I was a really shy kid and was like, I think I want to try to act and maybe get headshots. They're $3,000. Someone at school told me about it. Can you please hook me up? And she was like, invested in me, looked at me in the rear view mirror of her F-150 and was like, are you gonna make good on this? Are you gonna pay me back? And I was like, yes. Because when I was a kid, I was really confident. <laughs> That's what happens, you get older, you're like. Oh. Did you give her the three grand? <laughs> um, She's got, well, you know, she, she's fine. Let's she, just, that's a really not the moral of the story here. Yeah. That would be a nice Oscar moment for you to just whip out thirty hundred dollar bills and um, hand them to mom. Only now. This is truly making it. You know, I was, uh, I was, I don't know, I was watching Instagram or something. I happened upon your fans are uh, exceptionally excited about this Oscar thing, probably more than you were. Well, let's just take a look at some of them. Reacting. Nicole Kidman in Being the Ricardos. Kristen. And Kristen Stewart <laughs> and Spencer. Okay. And Kristen Stewart yes! and Spencer. Yes! And Kristen Stewart and Spencer. <laughs> and Kristen Stewart yes! and Spencer. I mean, that's, I don't think I've ever been that excited about anything. Can you send these to me so I can send this to my mom so she, she knows the proper reaction? Yes, mom studying these <laughs> yeah. and this is how it's supposed to go. Literally, I was like, mom, dude, I like got it. And she was like, well, honey, that's great. Um, <clears throat> just waking up, but you know, it's not why we do things. And then she went kind of quiet and I was like, oh, what's up? She's like, I think I'm, I think it might be like a little gobsmacked. I was like, okay, it took a few minutes, but that is the reaction. There right. we go. Yeah. yeah. She's trying to teach you a lesson like you're still 12 years yeah. old. So, That's not why we do this. Yeah. You understand? Like, yeah. yes, it is, Mom. It's exactly <laughs> why we do this. You um, uh, also, congratulations on your engagement, which I, do, I was listening to you on the Howard Stern show. <laughs> and I'm wondering if you planned to announce that you were engaged on that show or if it if he just kind of got it out of you? That's a good question because he is the best interview in town. Everybody knows that. No clue. I would have told him, <laughs> I was going to say something really inappropriate. I would tell him anything. Yeah, really? <laughs> Literally, if he was like, so what kind of anything? <laughs> like, just fill in the, just, just. You guys have weirdly great chemistry. Like, I would not have imagined you would have such good. Have you been listening to the show for a long time? I actually have, yeah. My dad loves him. And, I see. Yeah. By yeah. proxy. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, so Howard then got into all this stuff, and, and one of the things that you guys talked about was that you wanted Guy Fieri to be your officiant at the wedding. Yeah, is he a reverend uh, Guy Fieri? Because as far as I know, he's not a man of the cloth. And right. if it is, he is a man of the cloth, it looks like a race car. <laughs> <laughs> really spiky race car. Is Guy gonna do this? 
I think he's like totally down because I've heard now through the grapevine several. He's like followed up a couple times too. I'm like I'm. I'm trying to win an Oscar. I'm kidding. I'm, like, I'm so busy. I'm not planning my wedding. Well, Guy would be good because he could not only marry you, but he could cater the whole thing too. That's true sliders. Who would pay for this slider. wedding? Will, you, will your parents pay for it? Um, Has that been discussed? I'll take the three thousand and reinvest. <laughs> I'll just do that. Yeah. You um, will you have like a? Have you thought about buffet? Have you thought about sit down dinner? Have you really planned it all out? Um, I've done like a little bit of dreaming, but I haven't planned anything. I'm a food obsessed person, so it's that's like maybe the most important part. Yeah, well, it yeah. is the most important part. Yeah. Can I make a recommendation? I should probably tell you this off the air because you should just get married when you win the Oscar. Like if you win the Oscar, you should walk up there. With her. Yeah, <laughs> and just have somebody just nail it right down. <laughs> You've got everybody there. The whole reception is paid for. That's true. It would be one of the great moments. But if I don't, if I don't win, I'll just like scream. I'll just ask like Olivia Coleman to marry me. <laughs> like, me. That's not a bad idea. Kristen Stewart is here. Her movie is Spencer. <laughs> and now, we'll be right back. Mommy, why do we have to open our presents on Christmas Eve? Why not Christmas Day like everybody else? You know, at school you do tenses. Yeah. yeah. It's past, the present, the future. Right. Well, here, there is only one tense. There is no future. The past and the present are the same thing. That is Kristen Stewart, believe it or not, and Spencer, which is on Hulu right now, and for which Kristen is nominated for an Oscar. Well, you did an unbelievably great job in this movie. I mean, really, it was so crazy. I guess this is the idea, but I forgot it was you. And I don't know if you've seen this, but this was uh, tweeted, I believe, just yesterday. This is Princess Diana's chef. Do you know what this is? It says, uh, as Princess Diana's chef, I talk to her every day. No actor has ever been able to capture her voice and mannerisms the way Kristen Stewart did in Spencer. She 100% deserves an Oscar. And this is a guy who, she knew him so, so well, she signed a picture with no shoes on for him. <laughs> so that's, a, that's kind of a great... He could cater the wedding too, you know? I told you, I have a lot of people waiting in line. <laughs> Did you keep the Diana wig? Um, my, my personal director, Pablo Lorraine, kept it. And we've been doing Zooms and it's in the background on a sort of fake head. And I knew he was a strange man, it's why I love him, but I was like, um, you freak. <laughs> it's just like floating in the background. There was only one, one wig, huh? <laughs> Uh, we had two. We oh. Had, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you didn't get either one of them. Seems like you would have first dibs on the wig. I'm no? good on that. No, no, no. I was. Did yeah. you grow to hate the wig after a while? No, it is the only reason I'm good in this movie. <laughs> Everyone thinks it's my performance. It's just that beautiful wig. <laughs> <laughs> the um, I want to ask you about. Uh, the, I don't, spoiler alert! At the end, Princess Di leaves Prince Charles. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> Well, what happens at the end is really, I think, interesting, and it kind of made me laugh because it was such a, um, like, almost dreamlike ending to the film where you get in a car with, uh, with Harry and William and, and you guys, and the song All I Need Is a Miracle by Mike and the Mechanics comes on. Yeah, and it's been, like, very sultry, intense, like, driving jazz and score, like, shrieking the whole time, and suddenly it, like... Yeah, you don't know if movie. it's a fantasy, dream, real paranoia, what's going on, and then all of a sudden it's, uh, all I need is a miracle. <laughs> it's <laughs> you her, go, yeah. Are, did, was that the only choice for the song? Did you know that was the choice going in? Um, so music was such a huge part of our whole experience making this thing. We kind of rifled through a ton of stuff. He found that maybe halfway through shooting and was very positive that that was the song. It's just too... Spot on, like it, in a good way. It's like if you're gonna make a really sort of internal, poetic, you know, albeit self serious thing, and then at the end go, we need like a good breakfast club. Like I wanted to wear a trench coat and put my fist in the air. Uh. Like I just wanted, it was like the egg on the face of the sort of montage where it was like your derpy boyfriend's like, mm. and then you're like uh, running into the sunset. Yeah. All you need is a miracle that also just breaks. It's so 
you know, because it's true. <laughs> like, you know, in order for us to still have her, we really would need an actual miracle. And it just... Um, I think it, it wouldn't weird. work if, were it not for how, sadly, her story really ended. It would be yeah. ridiculous if it hadn't. But because it did, it does work. Does that make any sense? I think that maybe I was trying to say that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So thank you. Oh, <laughs> so you said that already, and then I said it again. No, but honestly, this is why we need to do this together. We couldn't, you know, it takes a, it takes a village. You know what, let's, let's do another take, and we'll, yeah. I'm sure we'll nail it next time. Yeah. We'll tell the story again next time you're let's here. Let's do it again. Everyone down? <laughs> well, I wish you a lot of luck at the Oscars. I think... Uh, what a great, I mean, really, they'd say it's an honor to be, just to be nominated. And I would imagine that it is an incredible honor to be nominated. And, uh, and who knows, maybe you'll be up there and you'll win and you'll get married right there on the stage. <laughs> Kristen Stewart, everybody. Spencer is on Hulu now. We'll be back with Jake Johnson. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings.